Hi friends. Okay, so we're doing Maxwell Maltz Cycle Cybernetics Chapter 8. Ingredients of the success type personality and how to acquire them. So now we're on number four personality type, which is charity. And again, recap. So if you have successful or if you have clear, concise goals, targets, affirmations, then you're going to get clearer results because your subconscious has something to work towards. If you have unclear goals, you're going to have unclear results. So then he says, here are seven successful type personality traits that we should all aim for. And number four on the list is charity. <clears throat> okay. Successful personalities have some interest in and regard for other people. They have a respect for other problems, others' problems and needs. They respect the dignity of human personality and deal with other people as if they were human beings rather than as pawns in their own game. They recognize that every person is a child of God and is unique, is a unique individual, and is a unique individuality which deserves some dignity and respect. So everybody is special and don't treat anybody like a pawn. It is a psychological fact that our feelings about ourselves tend to correspond to our feelings about other people. I've seen that. And one of the best known methods of getting over a feeling of guilt is to stop condemning other people in your own mind, stop judging them, stop blaming them and hating them for their mistakes, and you will develop a better and more adequate self-image when you begin to feel that other people are more worthy. Another reason that charity towards other people is, sim is symptomatic of the successful personality is because it means that the person is dealing with reality. People are important. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> people cannot be treated um, like animals or machines or as pawns to secure personal ends. So basically value people. And here's the prescription. Here's the homework. The prescription for Cla um, charity is threefold. Number one, try to develop a genuine appreciation for people by realizing the truth about them, that they are children of God, unique personalities, creative beings. Number two, take the trouble to stop and think of the other person's feelings, his viewpoints, his desires, and his needs. Think more of, of what the other fellow wants and how he must feel. I need to start saying fellow more that's a cool word okay um a friend of mine's kid his wife was telling her whenever she sees um, whenever she asks him do you love me yes whenever i stop to think about it and there is a lot of truth in this we cannot feel anything about other people unless we stop and think about them so that's what he's saying like take time to consider other people their feelings their wants their needs their desires their needs okay number three for charity Act as if other people are important and treat them accordingly. In your treatment of people, have regard for their feelings. We tend to feel about objects in accordance with the way we treat them. So if you have something very special and you treat it super, super special, you'll get that analogy that he's giving. And so if you start treating people better, watch what happens with your own self. Um, okay, so everybody have a great, wonderful day and do something today that your, the future self will be thankful you did.